technology. Advancing at an unprecedented pace. As our machines become smarter, autonomous, and more capable, so does their potential to be hijacked and used against us. It's a real problem, and you may ask, who is standing in the way of our adversaries, intent on attacking our own systems and turning them against us? The U.S. Army Tank Automotive Research Development and Engineering Center, or TARDEC, that's who. Whenever you're giving control over to a computer, cybersecurity is definitely going to be a concern. We certainly don't want hackers or our other adversaries getting into that system and getting control over it. TARDEC is hard at work making sure we're one step ahead of the bad guys and ensuring the U.S. military has the battlefield advantage. To truly secure these robotic systems, you have to understand their potential vulnerabilities. One way TARDEC scientists do this is through penetration testing, and in this demonstration, researchers use a robotic system that communicates wirelessly with a controller. They will exploit this connection in an effort to take over control and simulate an attack. Using open source tools from the internet, this researcher sniffs the network traffic and decodes the wireless passphrase. She exploits this information by launching a man-in-the-middle attack that secretly altered the communication between the robot and the true controller. I need to stop it from just acting as it normally would. Ultimately, TARDEC is developing autonomous systems while at the same time focusing on cybersecurity to ensure these systems are trustworthy, giving commanders more options requiring less human capital. So we never want to have our soldiers be in a fair fight, and heck, it ain't a fair fight if it's a soldier against a robot. Okay, so the whole thing is, you know, if your adversaries are pursuing robotics and autonomous systems in the ground domain, and they are, we don't want to have our soldiers face that threat uh, so we need not only to develop them ourselves, but understand how to employ them, because then you'll learn how to defeat them as well. And so that's that sort of asymmetric advantage I absolutely want to give to our soldiers. These scientists and researchers, armed with science, are advancing autonomous robotic systems and the cybersecurity technology that protects them. And with 50,000 miles under their belt, this is just the beginning.